A medical miracle tonight in South Florida after a young man with a life-threatening heart condition gets a new heart. A new mechanical heart, thanks to the generosity of strangers. Our own Baron James is live with more on this. Baron. Lori, Calvin, I am here with a guy now known to his friends and family as the Iron Man. I'm talking about Danny Laspria here, who just got home from the hospital yesterday after four and a half months at Jack's Memorial Hospital, now with a mechanical heart and some other devices. And the question on everybody's mind, how are you feeling and what feels different? I used to go out a lot. Um, I used to like to hang out with my friends, go out to the beach, play sports. And now since I have this like, machine, I, I can't really go into the beach or I can't play sports how I used to play. I have to like be very calm and settle. It's, it's a, a, a pretty big change in like lifestyle. <laughs> All right, so this is my bathroom. You know, put the shower bag right there. Put the machine in there, I take a shower. It is what I use. So when I, I go to sleep, I grab this bad boy and I plug it into the machine. And I just like leave it here while I just roam around my bed. And then over there I have the, the extra batteries and then the battery chargers. Oh, and then this is my house uh, carrying bag. I use this one when I'm just walking around the house. The machine is right here. This is the machine. These are the batteries. And then this is the controller. This um, tells the machine at what speed to run, what the flow is. Um, how many liters per minute are going through my body, which on a typical heart is usually like five or six. I found out when I was eight years old that I had heart problems. I was, I woke up one morning walking down my stairs and I ended up passing out. My mom and dad heard the boom, 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 boom. They saw me on the stairs, picked me up and um, took me into the into their bedroom. They helped me up, and then later on the same day, I was in the kitchen, I ended up passing out again. And then that's when they took me to the hospital to see what was going on, and that's when I found out I had mild carditis. But what they really diagnosed me with was with dilated cardiomyopathy. So you're just gonna die? I'm gonna keep killing you? Oh man. What is this game about, anyways? Why? Now you started this. Why is my game playing started this? No, I just, I just got curious. Cardiomyopathy is a heart muscle a sickness. It's a, it's a sick heart muscle. The most common cause for a young person requiring cardiac transplant, apart from a congenital abnormality is um, a viral cardiomyopathy. It was just kind of tough. I don't know, spending, like, I was the youngest person in the, in the whole department, in the cardiac care unit. I was the youngest person there and just like, knowing like, wow, I'm like 22. At the time I was 21, I was like, wow, I'm 21 and I'm here. And like, you hear people next to you screaming, like, in pain, like a few people passing away, and you're like, damn, like, I don't want to be the next one. O sea, vivía en el hospital, vivía aquí, y era algo como que decía yo, yo estoy viviendo esto, esto es verdad lo que yo estoy viviendo, y ver que Dani se deterioraba más y más cada día, y cada día a veces nos decían algo bueno, a veces nos decían algo malo, y así, es lo más difícil. 
I was playing soccer one day and I ended up making a goal. And after I made that goal, I was like celebrating my victory. I was like, yeah, I made a goal. As I was celebrating, doing a little cartwheel, I ended up getting shot by my machine four times and we called the rescue and then I called my doctor and my doctor said, just don't worry about it, I'll see you tomorrow. Everything will be all right. The nature of waiting for a heart transplant means that you're obviously sick enough to be put on a national list where you're to some degree competing with all the other people who are waiting for heart transplants for the appropriate size donor and blood type donor to become available for you so that you can get your heart. Some people wait less than a day. Some people wait a very short period of time. Other people can wait weeks to months for their hearts. And it really just depends upon luck. Ending of April, when I got really bad, they said, uh, your heart's like giving out, you're going into heart failure and um, of this year. And uh, they told me I have to get on the list, but I wasn't on the list until like beginning of May, because I didn't have insurance. And if you don't have insurance, they don't put you on the list at all. So I had to like fight for it and I ended up getting uh, health care. And since then I've been waiting, I'm still waiting.